Okay, good morning. It's Saturday. Uh, yesterday we did our uh, set up our solar panels, got that all done, and that ended up coming out really nice. Um, <coughs> I wanted to show you a little bit more today of the area. We are, and if you can look here, this is all downhill, and we're on uh, a flattened out area up here, and uh, we are on the side of a mountain, uh, elevation at about 1,600 feet, so we're quite a ways up, and uh, it's pretty isolated up here, and, and that's what I love about it the most. I'm going to take you inside, and I'm going to show you the solar panels once again up on top here, and uh, sun's already out this morning. We had the lights on for a few hours last night and we didn't run the batteries down, but what I want to show you this morning is, turn this on real quick so you can see, and here we are, nicely charging up. We're at 12.9 right now on the charge on the batteries, and that'll go up to about 14.5, and then that will automatically shut off. And uh, so, we had it down last night, we had the lights on probably about three four hours last night and only went down to 12 one as far as uh, the charge so the, the, with two batteries get a pretty good amount of power out of that um, obviously I will add more batteries to my battery bank I plan on adding a wind turbine probably next year but for right now this is my 90 watt system and that's uh, uh, six 15 watt solar panels I'm going to take you around the back here, and here's our wood pile starting to get ready for winter already, believe it or not, cutting wood up. And this here in the back is the box. It's vented on both sides, and it has the capacity. I showed yesterday uh, the batteries that were in there, and <clears throat> it has the capacity to hold 18 uh, batteries all together. So let me open this up real quick. I'm going to set you down. <clears throat> And uh, so like I said, right now we have two batteries, and we will eventually go up to a max of 18 batteries. And if I have 18 batteries back here, I'll have more than enough than I ever need for what we're doing up here. Okay, and here again is the inside of the box, and I will show you the batteries, how we got it wired up. There's two ways you can do it. You can do either in series or parallel, and if you do it the one way you end up making it 24 volts and uh, my inverter set up to invert 12 volts so uh, we had to set it up the proper way because that's actually the first time we wired it we wired it, wired it the wrong way but uh, like I say I'm going to show you the rest of the size of this in the inside here so here's two and I got a ton of room for like I say 16 more batteries and down the road I will do that and we'll just continue to wire it along that way um, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's pretty nice having um, my own power company, if you will. Ha being totally independent, not relying on anybody. The initial cost, I know probably people are going to ask, um, I got the two solar panel kits at Harbor Freight. And I actually got them both on sale. They're normally about $250 a piece. I ended up getting them both kits for $159.99, uh, so $160, and then with tax, it was like $172 per kit, so there's about $350 right there. Uh, my inverter, I bought a larger inverter than I needed, uh, 15,000 watt with a 3,000 surge. I know people are going to say, well, that's too much, but I'm thinking long-term down the road, when I add more batteries, when I want to do more things, that way I have a larger system up here. So that's why I went with that size. I could have probably got away with a 400 watt system 800 surge for right now but I didn't want to do that it just I wanted to go bigger to start out with and I could just add on um, and uh, you know it's just uh, it, it's, it's coming along very nicely up here it's uh, like I said it's a it's a beautiful spot I'm gonna pan this around and everything you're seeing in this area that I'm showing you is mine uh, I have 10 acres up here and from the video here that you can see it's all woods. We got a road that goes out up here to another dirt road and uh, we're 1.2 miles in from the main road and again here's the outhouse down here 
that definitely comes in handy. And uh, but uh, I'm going to tell you, it's uh, it's 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 beautiful up here. Uh, we've been very blessed. We had great weather this weekend. I think it hit about 85, 86 degrees up here yesterday. And for New York, that's uh, in April. That doesn't happen very often. Today's supposed to be 85 again. So we're just going to do a little wood splitting, and then we're going to load up and uh, hit the road. But uh, it's beautiful up here. Uh, the other people that have camps up around here, people are generally on 8 to 10 acre spreads up here. Pretty spread out. And, uh, you know, everybody's decent. And uh, they look out for each other, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I know I've talked about my place to go in the ground, and this is it. And uh, here comes Doug out of the, out of the shabbin. Got his suit or, or his uh, his sleeping bag all packed up there. So, but uh, like I said, it's uh, it's nice and uh, you know inside here. I'm going to show you the inside again real quick. Well, I, my, now my phone's ringing, so I'm going to end this video. I'll talk to you later.